Hey guys, welcome to Alliance War number 20 versus SB. This time I'm taking in uh, a team I think I've taken in before, Vision, Proxima, and Stark Spider-Man. Love this team for the just broad range of utility and damage. Um, definitely a fun one for sure. So for the masochism node, you're going to see some really interesting fights today. Uh, trust me, this is a good war. So... Uh, I'm going to boost. For, I, I love taking path 5 because I can get through with just uh, one big boost. Uh, throw on the 20% boost and get through this thing. And it's not really... Uh, there's no time for it to wear off or anything. Unless you want to, you know, re-heal a champion. So the first time, first person I have up here is a, uh, is a cosmic champion. It's Black Bolt. Um, Black Bolt is, uh, is pretty easy, you know, his specials are super easy to dodge, um, he does hit pretty hard and he can really hurt you if he gets those stuns going, uh, but overall, uh, as long as you don't mess up, uh, you're gonna get through it with taking fairly minimal damage. So, I just build up some poise charges, make sure this thing goes as quick as possible, bait another special one, uh, get another 5 hit combo and throw my own special one and that's enough to, uh, to do the rest of the damage. So. That is the start. The next fight is very, very interesting. Um, this could have the next fight could have gone a lot worse, um, but it didn't. Uh, mostly because it was a four star. So you'll see in a second. Kinetic reactor, interesting. Power reserve, uh, enhanced special one. Who's it gonna be? Huh? Cable? No, it's Domino. So someone got a four star Domino. Nice. Congrats to you, Garo uh, Kuga. Uh, but um, the four star is just not quite gonna cut it I don't think so I was paying attention to my own unlucky uh, I got un I got critical failure there for not evading but I was okay to take unavoidable damage I just didn't want to get hit by uh, a, a dexterity fail so I was uh, but then I realized afterwards that tech champions can never be unlucky so that was never gonna happen I was always gonna be able to dodge her specials and uh, the critical failure is not that big of a deal. So this thing, I was just like, holy crap, what's going on? <laughs> just get out of the way. And then when she stopped, when she stopped twirling around in the air, I just went, went in for the kill. So I could definitely see a five star tripping me up a little bit, but the four star is uh, not a big issue. So uh, it was fun to see her, you know, it was, it was fun to s come up against her in Alliance War. So this is the masochism node. Now this is, I, I don't think I can do this node comfortably without Proxima Midnight anymore. Unless it's some mystic champion that's just gonna wreck me, um, and then I'll want Blade. Uh, but look at this, look at this. So I do a few things here. So I get the parry one. I'm doing a, a strategy where I go light, medium, light, medium, which does not do any analysis charges. And then I parry, because parry for Proxima Midnight works on masochism. It doesn't trigger the healing, and it doesn't uh, do uh, trigger the the node or whatever uh, and then I do a thing I, I typically like to um, uh, block the first rockets evade the seconds and block the last ones and that that is pretty good for reducing his analysis so you can see I'm so far I've been able to keep his analysis down to a four uh, that particular stun did trigger masochism because it's not uh, her parry um, but I'm gonna just do right here light medium light medium keep her now his analysis a six light medium light medium keep getting those parries off light medium light medium and I know he's not duped, so I can throw another special two. So there's my dodge, or block, dodge, block. Uh, one more special two is going to do it. Um, even though uh, it didn't crit until the last hit, it was enough damage to get him down. So I was just like, hell yeah, Proxima. That is the way to go. I, I really liked uh, the way that fight went. Just so smooth. Um, definitely... Uh, interested in her uh, moving forward for that node. Uh, I definitely want to take her to 455, but there's a lot of other champions I want to take to 455 too. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Um, I think Bishop wouldn't do terribly on that node either because he needs lots of parries, and uh, they could just you could just parry twice uh, after the stuns were moved. Anyway, this I kind of suspected it was a magic again, but. <laughs> And you would think, uh, based on the last war, that I would have uh, learned my lesson, but I decided, you know what, this one's just a four star, so screw that, I'm going in. Uh, and it goes about as, as about the same as, as you would think. Uh, I'm going to take a ton of damage here. Obviously, this probably is probably Sig 99. I'm, I'm parrying because I want to build my own power up, so watch this. This is kind of a cheeky way to do this when you don't have a high Sig. So <laughs> I got the heal block off. Uh, but then I realized, you know what, it actually doesn't matter because I'm not going to, well, does it, let's see if I actually got that off in time. Yeah, it did. It did work a little bit. 
So now I'm trying to build up to my own special two. I'm just uh, sitting here. I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna push her to her limbo. I'm gonna try and bait the special two here. Uh, and then hopefully uh, do my own special two. Yep, right here. And then I'll get that heal block. So I'm doing some damage. I'm taking my own damage, taking 500 a tick. Come on, that is so much. God, magic limbo. If you don't bring the uh, right BS counter, her limbo is so powerful. Um, so I'm just doing my thing, eating these parries, baiting a special one. She gets limbo, of course, every time, but I'm up to another special two again, so I can throw this big power drain. We're both at 20%. Um, and if my calculations are correct, uh, I think I got this one in the bag. I just got another five hit combo. Throw that special one, burn it, and uh, I barely make it out alive, but hey, I make it out. So I did some uh, sort of back of the envelope math before I started that fight uh, based on the fight I had uh, versus the other magic, the more powerful magic, the 455, and I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> so I thought that was it for me for this war because uh, uh, my other teammates, we did really good guys. We were sub 30 deaths uh, for us. That's really good. Uh, and uh, But it turned out that just the way it worked out, I had a, I got a shot at the Medusa while it was uh, guaranteed. So um, I, I don't actually fight this Ultron guys. So I got a shot at the Medusa while our win was guaranteed. So I really wanted to try out Proxima Midnight. Now, um, I do have some, in, I, I wanted to throw on, I wanted to get a good solid try on this, so I wanted to, to do the indestructible boost here, so I, uh, I heal up Proxima as well, get her back up to full there, and, uh, and I go in, and I'm trying to think, you know, what, what, uh, mission am I gonna get, and I end up getting the parry mission, which is pretty good for the boss node here, so I'm just, um, doing some quick thinking while I'm starting this, uh, I'm getting parries very quickly uh, with her, and and you'll see this that actually trigger the auto block fail right there, and it does make her more easy to bait that special one, uh, getting a full five foot combo on here, and I have true accuracy up again, no problem with the auto block. I still have two parries left, so you can see I auto block failed again. That was really nice. Um, I am taking some really heavy block damage though here, so I get this other parry. I I, uh, I bait out that heavy. And then I throw a special two, which, ah, uh, it was some pretty good damage there. I mean, that was, that was decent. Uh, I really got to bait out a special now, though. And now I have intercept attack, and she has living strands. But I do actually get that off, so I really should have continued there with the light. Um, but I get another five hit combo in, her living strands is out. Um, I almost uh, eat a, uh, I almost get destroyed right there, but I get another intercept off. Everything's looking pretty good, actually, um, except for right here. Uh, I really needed to get another intercept right there. I should have gone in for the intercept, but I didn't, and then I eat an indestructible. I'm kind of panicking at this moment. Uh, I can't throw my heavy in time. Uh, I do, I figure it out that time. I need another intercept, but it just doesn't work out, so I end up panicking, and uh, I throw my special two. One uh, intercept before. I needed one more intercept, actually, uh, on top of that one to get the bonus damage. And to be honest, if I got enough crits, I could have probably... Uh, made it happen and I could have also thrown a special one there that would have crit for around 15 20 thousand damage So I got a little frustrated, but I definitely think my first try of a Proxima Midnight on the boss node that was um, it's not as smooth as a Killmonger fight is um, But the damage potential on Proxima is way higher. So uh, The 565 Medusas are uh, definitely doable with a say a 455 Proxima or 565 Proxima so, I mean, you're going to be, your specials are going to do insane damage. So, I don't know. It's something to think about. Uh, the, the win was guaranteed, and I still had the indestructible boost on, so I decided to go in with Sparky, play it safe, get some poise, uh, do the heavy thing. For some reason, I find uh, Sparky's heavy really easy to, to throw off quickly. Um, I think it's just a visual thing. Well, sorry about that. That was a little notification there. Um, but then I throw this uh, five hit combo. I bait a special one. I throw my own special one. And uh, it does kill her rather than trigger auto block, uh, so that's that's good for me. Um, anyway, that is <laughs> so a little out of breath. <laughs> that is the uh, end of the war. Uh, we did beat these guys. Uh, SB, uh, we 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 just won. It was literally uh, hours ago. Uh, while I'm recording this, um, I I have five kills and one death to the boss. I decided to count. I'm counting all deaths that have attack bonuses on them. So. Um, 
it's uh, it is what it is. Uh, I I was looking back. I was like, a lot of my deaths were to bosses. Uh, I did have some really bad deaths in my fights throughout the season, but overall, I think most of most of the worst deaths were to bosses. Uh, so. I think uh, I'm a little more optimistic than I was last war. Uh, I'm pretty happy we won this one, and hopefully we 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 can keep going. Uh, you never know. It's it's uh, it's tough. It's a tough season, and uh, there's a lot of good alliances out there. And you know, we're just trying to be one of the pack, uh, try and scoot ourselves just a little towards the front of that pack. But anyway. That's it from this war, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely want to see some more Proxima Midnight gameplay. I want to get Bishop into Alliance War Attack at some point, but uh, it doesn't seem to be a tons of uses for him. There's a few nodes I think he could do good on, uh, especially the bleed nodes because he can purify those, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I can't do much until I get some more catalysts and get to ranking up some champions, so hopefully Kabam releases some content, some story content, because I'm not about to try and compete in map 6 and... And those high top alliances, I just don't have the time for it. So I need some uh, single player ways to get some catalysts uh, other than uh, other than just alliance war, you know, alliance quest. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. Uh, we'll see you soon and take care.